My name is Marlo Holloway, and I own a company called An Ounce of Prevention, and we focus on safety training in the community. I have a background as a paramedic. I'm naturally inclined to be safety oriented and emergency oriented and emergency preparedness. So I also teach emergency preparedness classes. I found out that there was a need in the Soto business area. It's coming up that needles are a problem in our community. And so when there was a need, I thought, oh, I, I can help with that. I know what to do and I can help people find solutions to be safe around needles. My name is Sunny Nguyen and I'm the Public Safety Coordinator for Chinatown International District. I didn't know what being part of a community meant and what it really feels like until I started working in the IED. I think a lot of us love our jobs and a lot of us like love the people that we're around and love our neighborhoods, but not until I came to work in the CID did I realize like what it takes to keep a neighborhood running and all of the personalities and the passion that go into doing that. And I consider myself so fortunate to have all of these colleagues who are so dedicated to a community that has been so under-resourced. We live in a very family-oriented community here in the ID, a neighborhood built of families. So we have a lot of kids running around. And when we leave needles where they're not supposed to be and assume it's someone else's problem, someone who's not supposed to pick it up is going to end up picking it up. My name is Jody Grage. I live right in downtown Ballard in a house that was built in 1890. I have been active in the community for quite a long time. I know everyone around here. If you've got a good community, it's something to treasure and preserve and really work on. And everyone who's around here is part of that community. I think one of the reasons for the Sharps program is that people are very anxious when they see needles. Needles are dangerous for people and pets, and they're just a very visible symbol of some of the dysfunctional aspects of what we're going through now. The Find It Fix It app is an app that you can download from the city of Seattle and you can use it to report things that are out of place, for instance, a needle in your neighborhood. Let's go ahead and open up the Find It Fix It app and click on New Request, which is on the left side. And today I'm reporting litter and illegal dumping of needles. And then it wants you to add a photo, so I would go ahead and take a photo. The next part is entering your cross street. So just being just a little bit more specific, that will help the person coming out to collect that needle know exactly and be able to find it. First, you're gonna need to pick a container to put it in. And so I always recommend a hard plastic, so something that if you hit it against the table, it makes like a drum sound or bounces off. Otherwise, it might puncture it through. So once you have a hard plastic, you're gonna sit on the ground and open it. And then you're gonna make sure you have gloves on and use tongs or a grabber or something to put a little bit of distance between you and the needle that you found. You wanna grab it by the barrel, not by the plunger. You're gonna carefully put it with the point facing down into the plastic container that's on the ground and you're not holding. You're gonna seal that up and you're gonna label it so no one tries to recycle it. And then you're gonna call me or drop it off at Hingian Coworks or at any of the Sharps boxes on SPU's website. We're all in this together. There's good reasons we live in communities so we can help each other. And I firmly believe that if everyone just does the things that are easy for them, we can get an awful lot done. It's easy for me to pick up sharps. 10 minutes, you know? There's a lot of monumental things that need doing, but if everyone just does a few things that are easy for them, then a lot of the things that are a real problem can get solved pretty effectively and efficiently and it's not a big deal because people are doing what they want to do and what's easy for them.